comes up. So let's fill up. So this is the Panasonic SD2511K automatic bread maker and there's some information on the side of the box uh, it tells you that it has 18 programs for baking bread and it gives you a few examples there including that it's rustic sourdough rustic artisan rustic scone basic gluten free rye and whole wheat it can make other things like jam as well and just dough and it does three different sizes for best results please check the following are you using strong bread flour flour quality can change during the year and from crop to crop try another brand of flour flours containing Canadian and North American wheat often produce best results okay that looks quite comprehensive this is the manual it's got lots of uh, pages of all the common sense safety instructions about how to um, use your Panasonic bread maker it's got a list of parts instructions about the menu Uh, the basic bread making instructions uh, a list of all the different bread types that you can make and the basic bread making instructions adding extra ingredients making brioche whatever that is I don't know Rustic Artisan Sourdough So it tells you how to make all the different breads the Nice uh, nice instructions, step by step instructions Making jam Making compote Don't know what that is and it's got lots of recipes as well, all the different ingredients you need for the different types of bread you can make in the bread maker. Pages of them. And then after all the recipes, um, oh, there's also gluten free recipes, dough recipes. Cake recipes, jam recipes, care, how to take care and clean your bread maker, and then troubleshooting common uh, problems that you might have when you're making your bread. And it goes, so there's a couple of pages of um, those troubleshooting options. That's the control panel for the, um, the bread maker. So um, it's got the menu, it's got, it's got a start and a stop button, um, size, medium, large, extra large, crust, light, medium, or dark, and it's got the the processes the bread maker is going through. I think a little bar appears underneath each one as that process is happening in the bread maker. And it's got a menu button uh, to bring up the different options for the different types of bread. So, what happens when we open up? So if we open up the top, nut and raisin dispenser. It's also got the... It's got a list of the menu items. So, the, the different... Um, breads you can make or the doughs you can make um, from selecting the the menu menu button it will come up with the numbers that um, correspond to these, these types of breads 
So that's the inner the inner top. So this is where the nuts and raisins come out and drop into the mixture. So what do we get inside the bread maker? Sourdough cups, two of those. The idea is you make uh, make two lots of sourdough at once, and these are also for measuring measuring liquids that you add. You can you add to your bread mix. So this one's got a top on. And this is the sourdough starter spoon. So for measuring very small amounts of yeast, a measuring spoon, teaspoon, a tablespoon. This is the top for the the sourdough cup. Two cups, two tops. Now these are the mixing paddles. So this paddle I think is for rye bread. Um, they call call them kneading blades in the in the manual. So these are these are the two kneading blades that you get. Rye bread, wheat bread. So inside there's the bread pan. It's got a thing in the bottom to attach the paddles. So, quite a loose fit. And uh, the bottom so that it attaches into the mechanism in the bread bin to turn the kneading blades and knead the dough. And there's a heating element in there as well to cook the bread after it's all been kneaded, mixed and kneaded.